Electricity and lighting can be expensive, especially if you're growing plants indoors for fun. But if there was a way to increase the efficiency of the lights that you do have and the electricity that you are using by 100% or maybe even more, would you do it? Would you want to hear what that is? Of course you would. Who am I kidding? You want to save money. You want to grow beautiful plants. You want to grow figs indoors because Figgy had told us that we've got to do it. So we've got to find a way if we don't have a ton of money and unlimited resources to take a small amount of LED lighting and increase the efficiency by a ton. I mean, essentially take a certain wattage light and maybe double its output in a way without spending more money on power. All this can be done and it's totally inspired by Fig Yed. And yes, Eddie, I am gonna be growing a fig indoors. So just hold your horses, buddy, we're getting there. But we were going back and forth about this on YouTube or Facebook a month ago. And I threw out an idea to you just to kind of get your thoughts on it. And I, I think you had said you hadn't thought of something like that or didn't know much about that. So this is just a real simple concept for people who grow plants indoors that I'm gonna to explain to you guys to increase your efficiency. And it simply has to do with grow tents. My plan was to originally start growing a fig indoors with a grow tent because Figgy Ed's growing them in a huge living room area and he's got no walls, nothing to reflect light back onto the plants. It looks really cool. But I think the guy's got unlimited resources. So if you're somebody who doesn't have unlimited resources, follow along here because I'm going to show you how you can cheaply and very effectively improve the efficiency of your indoor grow setup and get figs just as good as fig yet. Now, that's a big claim and I haven't done it yet, but we're going to work towards it. So let's head inside. Let's head inside my little grow room area and I'm gonna do an experiment. I've already got it set up. We're gonna do an experiment to show you just how effective grow tents can be when it comes to growing figs indoors. All right, so here's my little grow room and I've got this test set up for Eddie and I'm just gonna show really quickly the benefits of having some form of a reflective wall just outside of the light canopy. So first of all, this is an LED light. This is a Vipar Spectra. It doesn't really matter what kind. The technology's gotten so good that just about any of these lights will do well for you. You can see the underside, all LEDs there. This is a 150 watt light. So I've hung it from the ceiling up here and I don't have a tent set up in here yet. So I hung it to where it's about two feet off of the ground. And I wanna kind of simulate the top of a fig tree being maybe right where the concrete is. And then I've got my light hanging above the top of the fig tree. And what I've got here is an apogee meter. It's a, it's a PAR meter and it measures the amount of PAR, P-A-R, photosynthetically active radiation, which is how much light is shining down on the top of the plant. It's just a measurement to show you how much light we're getting, how much usable light we're getting for plants. And what we're gonna do is turn this thing on in a second, and I'm gonna show you the meter and what the little uh, sensor there is registering and how much para we've got. Then we're gonna take that whiteboard and we're gonna build kind of a makeshift wall and show you how much more efficient you can get with the same light if you have some sort of a reflective surface here. Now, real quick, before we start this little experiment, there's another video I found out there that is a fairly short video but the guy does a fantastic job in comparing different reflective materials around LED lights and how well or not so well they'll reflect light compared to having no reflection at all, no walls around the plants. And he broke it all down, put it into a chart. It's really easy to read and understand. I highly suggest going to that video once this is done. I'll put a link down in the description below. You can go to it. It's real quick, real easy, and it will it will prove to you. I mean, this guy does a great job. He breaks it down to percentages, uh, just all the numbers, and it's real easy to follow. I couldn't do a better job here. So go to that video afterwards, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But for right now, we're going to do my little test quickly to show you guys exactly how much more efficient we can get with this little 150 watt LED light by doing one simple thing. All right, so let's get on with this little experiment here. So we've got our light, we've got our plant canopy, 
right at the level of the sensor here. I'm gonna turn this on right now. So this is the Apogee meter. Just push the on button and hopefully you can read that. I think so. So it's showing 10 par right now, which there's no light on, so I wouldn't expect much of anything. But now let's turn this on. Now the light's on, it's pretty bright down there. Let's look at what the meter says. 307 par. So that's what we're getting about two foot up at the center of the light. Now remember that's at the center of the light. We've got 307, 306, somewhere in that range. So that's without walls. So this is how Figuette is growing his figs. He's in a room, like a living room set up, and there's, no, there's nothing shielding the light on either side to bounce those photons back at the plant. He's just got walls way off to the side that aren't really affecting the lighting around the plants at all. So just by putting something right next to the light, you're going to see how much we can improve the efficiency of this light. So let's grab this right here. This is just kind of a poster board that somebody would use for like a college presentation there. It was six bucks, pretty cheap. It's actually kind of thick, nice stuff there. So I'm just going to set this phone down for a second. We're going to set this board. Actually, you know what? I could probably do this with one hand. So we're going to put this around the light. I'm not going to try not to touch anything so we don't mess up this little experiment. Oh, and then I touched the light. That's all right. We're good. All right. So now we've got the simulation of a grow tent. Sort of. Come on, buddy. Stay there. All right, this is set up now. Let's go down and see, now that we've got a wall with light bouncing off the wall all the way around, and this is a low wattage light, only 150 watts, so this would simulate somewhere around a two by two grow tent. So let's see what we've got. We'll turn this back on. And we've got 432, 430, 400. Look at how much it increased the par, the usable light shining down on the plant. 430. We went from 308, 307, somewhere in that range to 430. That is an amazing increase of how much light that plant is getting from the same wattage. So you're spending the same money every month on your lighting, but you're getting more use out of it. So this just increases the efficiency for those of you who don't have a ton of money and you want to grow figs indoors. You can get a grow tent and a smaller light and you can increase the efficiency by almost half again as much just by putting a grow tent around it or just a $6 poster board here. Now I'm going to show you something just so you know there's no sleight of hand here. See that 400? Oh, there it is, 440. 430. Let's just pull this away. Boom. Drops right back down. We'll put it back up there. And it's already climbing. Look at that. Yeah, you get the other wall. There we go. That's pretty amazing. Now I'm going to show you one more thing. All right, so let's turn this little meter back on. And see what we can get. There we go. So we're back at that 304 par. Now, and it's cranked up all the way to 150 watts. I'm gonna move this little sensor to the outside as if we were at the edge of the plant canopy. Let's say, let's say this is a two by two grow tent. I'm gonna go back out, I'm gonna go. So that's probably about where the edge of the two by two would be. If you were growing a fig in a two by two tent. And you can extrapolate this out. If you had like a 200 or 300 watt light in a four by four grow tent, you get the same percentage increases with a bigger light and a bigger grow tent. But we're just going to show you this little example because this is the little light I've got. But we're about two foot out from the center or about a, not two foot out, about actually a little over a foot out from the center, which would be a two by two grow tent. And so now the PAR is 165, which is expected because we're further away from the center of that light. So we're 167. Now, let's grab our poster board here. And we're gonna set this back up and see what we go. So now I'm gonna, 
This is going to simulate the plant being on the edge of the grow tent, or actually it'll simulate the, the edge of the grow tent where the plant is, where the edge of the plant is. There we go. I can do two things at once. All right. Now where are we at? We're in a two by two grow tent. This is going to be the outside edge of the plant or of the tent. We were at 167, if I remember right, 166, somewhere in that range. And we jumped up to 278. Look at that, 279, 278. Just so, I don't, I'd have to do the math on it, the percentage wise, but that is a massive jump in efficiency. So we've got leaves out to the edge. We've got light all the way out to the edge. We are improving drastically our efficiency with this little 150 watt grow light without increasing the amount of wattage and increasing our electricity bill. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I thought that was a really cool experiment. It helped me a ton just seeing the reflective surface versus the non-reflective surface. And remember, there's that video I told you guys about. I'll put a link down below to another channel. I don't know the guy at all. I just found his video. He did an excellent job on showing the benefits of actually having different types of reflective surfaces around your plants when you're growing in a small area uh, inside a house with like LED lighting. And I implore you to go watch that video because it's going to help you understand it quite a bit. In the meantime, this was a quick little experiment with a cheap setup. It can be done as cheap as what I just did. Six dollar poster board at Wally World. And if you don't have that and you've just got bare walls that are close, you can paint them flat white. It's really as simple as that. But always remember that having something to bounce those light photons off of is better than having nothing if you don't have unlimited resources. All right, I hope this one helped you guys out. Don't worry, we'll get to the fig grow eventually. I'm gonna be firing that all off here eventually, but I just want to get this whole idea and this thought out there to those of you who haven't heard of it yet, but you wanna grow indoors and you don't have unlimited resources. So I hope you guys learned something from this one. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna follow along. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.